Hello, <clears throat> one and all. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> Apparently, we're going to be doing this rough. Welcome to Code Weaver Plays Games. Just checking the audio levels on the stream. Looks like it's uh, sounds like it's going through fine. Quickly switch over to the cam. Now, for some reason, my left hand controller has been being a little bit uh, odd to me today. It was. Um, you know, are we doing this again? No, we are not doing this again. Okay, so I have controller control over my left hand controller. Uh, for a moment there, uh, it was refusing to recognize the controller, um, but it's now back, and it's only the left, and I don't know why. So I've cleaned off the lenses on the controller, uh, and just to make sure that it is doing its uh, its thing. I don't know how long that's going to remain a thing. Hmm. Well, we'll find out, won't we? But we seem to be good. So we're going to be playing some Dungeons of Eternity, uh, for the sake of anybody who cares. I am uh, playing this on a Quest 3, but I'm using Quest Pro controllers because I'm doing a lot of archery, and uh, the Quest Pro controllers do give me slightly better tracking when I have my hands behind my head during a bowstring pull. Um, it's not a big deal, uh, but since I have the controllers, why not take advantage of that feature? Uh, uh, let me see here. So uh, we're going to go into solo play because I don't have any friends online. The reason I'm doing this is twofold. One, I'm bored. I want to do something fun. And two, uh, I want to get a little exercise. And I found that when I've been playing this game with friends uh, recently, that it, it gets my body moving pretty well, uh, especially but not limited to my arms. I do a little bit of footwork in order to, to step around a little bit, but uh, for the most part, my arms. But uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, the climb and the climb too. And uh, that's great, I love the game, and I will be doing more of that, but um, hey, this is the first time I found another VR game that really says to me I could use this as a sort of a form of exercise. So I'm not going to go through all the tutorial stuff, basically it's the sword and sorcery kind of stuff. I can fight with a saber, which I've managed to get, an axe, which I've managed to get, which I can also throw. Interestingly, it throws better horizontally than vertically. Well, at least for me. But in any case, it doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, also a bow. So, mm. so let's... Uh, I am going to go through the tutorial again just because I remember the layout. And on top of that, uh, it's a good sort of intro to anything else that I might do. Um, yeah, let's just do that. So select one of the uh, many sort of layouts, a certain difficulty rating, and then I just wander over to the teleporter pad. All right, so here we go. Zappity zap zap, and I am out of there. Alrighty then. Okay, so, uh, wandering around looking for stuff to pick up. Uh, I can also break pots and the like. Oh, potion, that's good. It's healing potion. Pick up that, pick up key. Anything else in here I might be able to pick up? Oh, another one of these. Now, if you drop your weaponry, it automatically just goes back into your inventory, so I'm taking advantage of that to some degree. All right, so there's the bow and the string, and I can just reach over either one of my shoulders, draw, and this is basically where I draw it back behind my ear. Um, it, uh, it doesn't do anything weird and stuttery, so let's get a, an idea, sort of get my beat in here. Now I could put my head, like I could actually fiddle with the bow until the arrow is in a completely ridiculous location. Um, I don't really like doing that. I like uh, I like the immersion of trying to keep it not, you know, not going through my head. Uh, so, let's see if I can get over towards the uh, the candle over there. Test shot. Not bad. Get my bead in here. Let's see. Yeah, so this is just me getting a feel for 
sighting along my eye, getting my bead in, how far over to the right that I have to be at distance. Was sort of my natural draw, drawn string position in order to get a good shot. Now, under pressure, I probably won't be able to pull it off. Oh, hello, do I have a frozen stream? Is that what the next, uh, next problem is gonna be? Ah, great. All right, so we're gonna be doing this. Problems with the uh, with the casting. Uh huh. I'm gonna turn the audio back on for you guys and expand the window. All right. Well, I'm not gonna restart the stream. My apologies for all of that. Hopefully, uh, whoever uh, pops by the stream will be able to. Uh, Good, I think we're generally pretty good. Yeah, so weird, sometimes it freezes, sometimes the casting just, uh, uh, like the quality of the compressed image goes way, way down. And I haven't figured out why. I haven't had that problem until very recently. That could be because my router is doing something dorky. Do not know. Anyway, let's get on with it. And I'll just keep an eye on the stream to make sure it's not uh, killing it for you guys. Here we go. Okay, keep an eye on where everything's coming from. Oh. Not doing very good at the distance shots today. Oh, come on. Seems to have done it all right. Okay, do do keep limber on my feet. Try to keep in motion. Whoops. So that is the map. I can drop that. Get an idea of the layout. That's no big deal. So I'm going to be coming through here, straight across, and then back out. Okay. Trying to avoid using the uh, turning thumbstick. Like, stay, stay motive on my feet. Shots, but these guys are most vulnerable in bad shots. Okay. Oh, skellies are, however, mostly the sternum. has a physical bent to it. Um, my arrows are very definitely impacting off of their weaponry and their armor. And if I were to 
doing sword play, which I may have to get into doing at some point. Um, that would matter as well, which is very, very VR immersive, I find. All right, so I need the I need a, a bigger key to get through that. The keys I've been picking up do not fit that lock, so that's fine. All right. I think those are used for power and magic spells, but I haven't done any of that yet. Maybe someday I will. Is in your chest, I can pull that up and do stuff with the stuff I picked up. Have I missed a secret door? I don't think I have, but I don't quite remember. All right. Definitely got to get into the habit of aiming with my bow rather than aiming with my uh, draw finger because it's, it's really easy to fiddle with the which way the arrow is this way, but then I lose my line of sight on things. Honestly, I'm the foggiest first clue, that's a sensible way to actually use a bow in, in sort of practice, but. Fairly big close targets I can usually get a good shot off, off the cuff, but right. up the stairs. I want to get good at being able to do uh, long range shots. Alright. Now the uh, example level. Um, The tutorial level, I should say, doesn't require a lot in the way of um, sorts of potions. Uh, I can carry three of each type. Okay. Uh, doesn't have any fast, really fast critters. So this is just mostly me warming up. Not a whole lot of warm up either, if I'm being honest. It's it's uh, I've done this enough times that this particular challenge isn't that complicated. Okay, so uh, Okay. All right. So this isn't on the map, pretty sure anyway. Yeah, it's not even on the map, um, but it's uh, Store that one. All right, another key for you. About 150 coins, an invisibility potion, which might come in handy, a unique large guard. That's nice, but uh, not really a. Um,
Here we go. attention to the environmental audio because they can sneak up behind you when you're not looking. Dang, right off his axe. Whoa, jeez, right there. Oh man, it gave me a heart attack. All right. Where are you? Where are you? Any others? No? All right. Health, 100%. Uh, I've got all the potions I can grab, so all of that is somewhat wasted. You know what? That's good. That means that I'm doing okay. Now, there are a goofy number of potions in the tutorial level. On the Even the, the level one of the, quote, real levels. Um, are a lot more stingy with the potions. Oh, come on. Apparently I'm having a day. I think you're doing a lot of uh, cheaty jiggery pokery with uh, making sure that your throws actually feel like they're throwing in the direction you intended and often hit really, really easily. I think they're they're not being purely physical about the throws, but it's so satisfyingly close that uh, I choose to ignore that fact. Um, let's throw the map out for a second and I'll come back to that. Alright, check out the map. Where are we at? I want to go, I actually do want to go to that one first. Yeah, alright. Where are you coming from? Oh, yeah. barrels. I have gotten hit by those so many times. Alright. Oink. Drop down health potion. How is my stream doing, incidentally? Let's just take a glance over at that. Actually, it seems to be doing alright. Alright, well, that's a thing. Alright. Let's get the bow out again. using the uh, rotating thing, the, the rotating thumbstick. I want to try to do this mostly. By keeping my legs moving. Head D1 cosmetics. So lots of cosmetics come up in the, dang it, I did it again. In a second nature. Um,
trust this game. Yeah, knew it. But coming across from half the map away. lots of extra health potions. They really help you out on the tutorial level, but boy howdy is it tough on the later ones. Okay. Alright, we're going to leave this down here. I'm going to reach over here and grab that. We're going to put the bowl away. We're going to climb. Boy, uh, the whole, uh, VR climbing I've done has made that just second nature. This, I wish they had a better way than the teleport to get on here, because I can teleport anywhere up here and that just feels unnatural. I would like a way to kind of, I suppose I could, tr I could try like lobbing myself over, and that does work. That was fun, a little ricochet of my arrow actually took out a second target. Like I said, very physics based, which I really, really like. It's hard to do that in a, in a video game to, to encourage the physicality of the environment, but it's so much more important in VR for sort of person in body experiences. Oops, put that back. There, nothing out of there, that's fine. About 100 coins. And an ice bomb. Don't know if I'll have any chance to use that, but you never know. I'm going to carry a spare one of these with me. So I think I got one already down there, so. Alright. Now this can be tricky because. Up and grab that. All right, put that away. I'm going to bring this around to here. Now there is a button I can use to sort of rapidly ascend or descend, and that's I guess an okay out for me if I have only one hand available. But again, it does mess with my immersiveness a bit. Even if it's making my life a little bit less easy. All right, so this one, I know what happens here. That is our target, but the minute I start fiddling with that thing, I'm going to end up with, um, brain is not functioning. The minute I start fiddling with that thing, I'm gonna end up with a bunch of bad guys coming in. So hang on, here we go. We're just gonna take care of the barrels because while I could theoretically use them, I don't wanna back into them expecting to. Okay. Don't think I need to take care of anything else. I can do a clean sweep to pick up items later. Okay. Here we go. Ready? shot today. Right off his axe. Come on, come on, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Pelvis is a good target for him. Okay, hello. Oh, he came right up behind me. Dang. Oh, jeez. Sometimes 
sometimes I get a little enthusiastic with the grabbing of my arrows and I don't pull it off. Glance behind yourself every so often. It'll save you having the pants scared off you. And listen to the environmental audio. Okay. 67%. Okay, hang on. Okay. Drop that, reach in, grab the potion, go. that up again, get re-centered in my room, or I'm going to whack one of my walls. Ow! Okay, okay, that's not good. That was only 20 some odd percent. There's only this one bad guy here. He's sort of the boss of the thing. And I don't know where... Don't know where he's vulnerable, but mostly only his head. Oh my goodness, that actually... Uh, happened quicker than I thought it would. All right, yoink. Grab that, yoink. There's one more around here somewhere. Oh, really, I gotta actually put it in there? I can't lob it in? All right. So that's gonna start that up, but before I actually leave, I'm gonna race around and grab anything that looks like it's uh, valuable. And what, what did I use up in that? Actually, very little. Very little. Um, I mean, you don't get to keep stuff after you sort of log off, but you do get to keep stuff between missions, by and large, so. All right. So. Zaps out. Okay, all right. So that caught me some XP anyway. So, next up, checking the stream. Stream seems to be okay. I will keep doing stuff. Okie dokie. So, I've already done the tutorial. So, let's check out uh, Eternal Tomes. That's that. That's that. Now, some of these are different types. Um, the, uh, I don't know what Sandstorm is, Vile Halls, Lava Forge. Um, these are color coded. And I have only done the red ones, which are basically collect loot. And the, these ones, which are sort of a, um, collect these master crystals in order to save the universe. I'm not going to go into the explanation. Uh, so we're going to go with, uh, instead of easiest, we'll go recommended. That's fine. It is a higher difficulty than I normally tackle, but... Soloing this is not easy. I don't know if it scales to the number of uh, to the number of people that you have playing. But my friend and I tried to play this, and uh, she was being sort of the tanky swords sword wheel with the, the <sighs> fencer slash tank, whatever you want to call uh, call uh, that class. Um, swords master, swordsman. Um, Whatever, swords, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, I was still largely being the archer, and we dying a lot. So I don't expect to survive this, but let's give it a go anyway. All right. I don't think anything happens in here. But what that does is it sets me up for having to retrieve a bunch of crystals and put them in here and then sort of defend the central pillar. 
So let's see if we can make that act happen. I'm less worried about the gold I can collect in here. Gold and these guys are super fast. And they can duck, rat bastards. Come on. Okay, I am not gonna be able to win this in a sword fight. But I can, at distance, hit them with axes. Oh god. How am I doing? How am I doing? 54%. Alright. Oh my god. Did you see that? What hit me? Oh, one of their axes. Throwing axes, I bet. What am I doing? I'm at 51%. That's not good. That's going to be even less. Okay, okay, this is a problem. It's a big problem. God, oh god. Oh, it's really bad. This is really, really bad. Kill at least one of these guys, one of these days, please. Ooh, 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 that was bad. Oh. 
Should have played this on easy. <laughs> And I'm trapped. I'm really trapped. Oh, tried to drink my invisibility potion. Couldn't quite get it done. This is going to be nearly impossible for me to do solo. I just, I can't keep up with them. Whew. Right. Definitely a party game. I, mean, I still get a little bit of XP uh, for getting through that. Didn't really get any gold for that, but wow! I just got my butt handed to me. All right, well, one more time, let's say. The axe just doesn't have a whole lot of damage to it. Um, and I could use the bow, but then I've got even more actions to coordinate because my weaponry takes two hands and I'm trying to steer with one. It's great for stationary, standing stationary combat, even high speed standing stationary, for the most part, combat. I don't know how to be a complete run gun archer, if I'm being honest. Go. Now this may or may not be the same thing. I didn't actually check the name, but and it isn't because this is definitely a different. All right, well, let's give this a go. Oh no, this is the same entrance. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, okay, okay. Ow, okay, okay. These guys are not tumbling at me, which is slightly easier. They really like to take out the big tough guy first because they'll only spawn in so many bad guys and if uh, I've got two skeletons occupying this slot okay. You're down. Fine. Okay. Yeah, so that was manageable by me. Now maybe when I can take, when I can do those more complicated battles but with slightly stronger weaponry, um, I might be able to solo this, but I don't feel bad about putting it on easy because it was not easy. All right. Yeah, what did that do? Did that do anything? So I pulled down that switch. 
I would have expected that to unlock some of these doors. Oh, it did the far one there, but not here. Can I get at those coins? Yeah. Don't know if this was intent the intended way to do this. Probably. But then why let me into here, right? So this is a weird design choice. I needed to have the, I needed to do the switch to throw that. I suppose I could lock someone in there in principle, but I didn't need one for the other doors. So why do it here? I don't know, weird design choice. Um, oh, and here we go. We're gonna grab one of those keys. You notice I didn't take my keys from my other thing with me. Those don't carry over. All right, so I got a hundred coins. A quad damage potion. So if I get into a really tough battle, that's my out. All right, let's take a look over here just to make sure there's nothing hiding behind the pillars. I grab this and put in my inventory. Big crystal, drop it in the power thingy, go on to the next mini challenge. Here we go. Oh, uh, that's interesting. And a little scary. But no bad guys are spawning in. So this is just me having to do, be able to do this. Jeez. Oh, that was almost the game over. All right, here we go. Okay. No twisting the, the thumbstick. All right, here we go. All right. All right. Can't come back into this room because I'll fall right off of everything. Notice I'm doing a slightly dumb thing and trying to get them with an arrow. God, okay, 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 okay. God, twice, missed twice.
the mages. All right, here we go. His accuracy isn't completely on point. Must be because of the easy mode, but... Oh, I mean, it, it just gets you moving. Whew. Approach no barrel without shooting it. I'm just saying, I just shot myself in the foot. Pun only slightly intended. More than once. Now, it's an interesting point that I could have chosen a better spot like that corner in order to be able to hunker down in. I wouldn't have any, had anywhere to go. But being able to be approached from multiple sides is uh, definitely a downside in this game. Oh, hello. The uh, long distance grabbing is sort of convenient as a mechanic. It does mess with my immersiveness a little bit, but I also wouldn't want to be leaning over and grabbing things repeatedly. I mean, not unless the game were a lot slower. The sort of arcadey nature of the game uh, kind of demands very twitch operations. And yeah. All right, so let's take a look around. Did I actually pick up the, uh... no, I never did pick up a map, or at least I didn't no, oh, maybe I left the map in the other room, I don't remember. All right. Uh, all right, so let's just grab this. And uh, we'll get back to the next section. Oh, I gotta go back over this again, all right. Part two, complete. Part three, and then the big boss battle. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? All right. Hate the bats. They swarm around you, and if they get behind you, it's almost impossible to sort of get them out from here. But is that it? Uh, like, I'm okay with that being it. I, I, you know, after the last two being kind of intense. Don't think so. Not today, Spidey. And that's why I need to be more careful. Thank you. All right. All right. So what I'm gonna do, because I know I'm gonna get my butt kicked if when I start this thing up, is I'm gonna go back into here. 
was it in here? But I left a whole bunch of extra potions lying around. No, it must have been, maybe it was, maybe, maybe they despawn after a bit. I'm not going to go back into um, the one with the jumping. So I guess that's it. I guess I just live with what I have. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can do this. I've never, I've never gotten through this section before. On any level of difficulty. So protect the pyramid. Okay. Cabling. Keeping myself cabled mostly to provide power. Most of the time I'm pretty good at sidestepping. Sidestepping my cabling, but. Pyramid was destroyed by the guardians. Dang. Alright. Well. I don't know how to win this. <laughs> That's alright. That's a long way down, must be said. just go back out the front door. Now I do get partial credit for getting, you know, as far as I did, um, taking out a couple of bad guys, uh, getting some of that treasure. So I'm going to count that as a win, or a partial win, more, more practice. But I got damaged too much during the last fight, couldn't take out the mage fast enough, and couldn't get my healing potion out. It actually exploded in my hands, and I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe because I tried to do it with a bow in my hand? I honestly don't know. I think that was enough for me. I think I'm not. Uh, I'm not feeling the mojo of uh, going into yet another dungeon because some of these are pretty, uh, pretty big. But that was a lot of fun, and I'll be doing more of this because it really does. It gets the blood flowing quite a bit. So, thanks. Uh, where, <laughs> where's the PC and did the stream hold up? It did, but not without some graphical glitching. So that's probably a good time to, to bail on it anyway. Wish I could figure out why it was doing that. Oh well, what do you do? Um. In any case, this was Code Weaver Plays Games. See you in the next stream.